everyone, I'm Carla um, of Carla K Art and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, my YouTube channel is all about my artwork and I specialize in hand painted silk. Today I'm going to do a demonstration of how I make the dyes permanent in the fabric, how I, how I set the dyes. Um, different dyes have different requirements, um, but the particular silk dyes that I use require that the dyes be steam set. So I'm going to take you through this short demonstration of how I do that so you can see how um, the dyes become color fast in the, pro in the, in the silk, in the products, and I um, hope you like this video. If you do like this video, um, press the thumbs up button, the like button down below, and if you want to see more videos like this, please press subscribe. And now I'm going to change the camera angle so you're looking straight down on what I'm doing so you can get a feel for what this all looks like. Be back in a second. Hey everyone, this is Carla and I'm back again. I've changed the camera angle so you're looking straight down on my workspace. This is the piece of silk that I'm actually going to be um, wrapping up to um, prepare it for the steamer. So I'm going to move it aside for a second. This is newsprint. It's just plain newsprint. And um, it's um, already been cut into squares. I have some on a long roll as well, but this works perfectly for me because the size is easy to maneuver. And I've layered it three layers thick, and that's to make sure that um, if any steam should um, become, um, get, the, get this wet when it's in the steamer, the um, layers of paper will keep the silk from transferring the color to another part of the silk. So next, I lay the silk out on the piece. And the next thing that I need to do is roll this up. Now I wanna make sure the silk is all nice and flat. I don't want there to be any kinks in it because if, if there were any folds in it, when I roll it up and steam it, the steam will actually set those wrinkles and we don't want that to happen. So it needs to be flat. So if you're doing a bigger piece of silk, you need bigger pieces of paper and you need to work to make sure that the silk stays very flat. So what I do here is I just fold this over and then I roll it up. And if you were beading or making um, something out of Fimo, you might call this a jelly roll. So sometimes I will refer to it as a jelly roll. And then you just take some tape and you do want to take some pretty firm tape. You don't want to use masking tape because I've had, I've tried to use masking tape in the past in a pinch and the masking tape actually does it, it loses its stick when it um, is exposed to the steam. And if this unrolls in the steamer, if this unrolls when it's in the steamer, it can fall into the water and that would ruin the piece. You can't really, you can't expose the piece to water until you've steam set it. And at that point you can do that. So just gonna move this aside and here is the jelly roll. And um, I'm going to actually stick this in another, um, another piece of paper, um, uh, uh, another tube, if you will. And I'll show you that process here in just a second. Hi everyone, it's Carla again, and I've gone out and gotten this thicker paper, which I used to encase this in. And this is butcher paper. And I put the butcher paper on there, on the outside to further protect the silk inside this newspaper roll from the steam inside the steamer. The steam will still be able to flow through the tube, so I'm not worried about that but I don't want any water droplets that might form on the inside of the steamer to land on the inner silk, and this protects it. Um, sometimes I'll get some, some water droplets on this, but I have never had it sink through this to the silk underneath. And I want this to be a little loose because I want the 
air, the steamed air, to be able to circulate inside of this tube. So I don't want this to be really, really tight. I want this to have some space in it. And that's that. I will um, go ahead and change the camera angle again and go inside so you can see the steamer itself. So now I'm, I'm back in the house and this is the roll of paper and I am here with the steamer. You get to see the cat dishes too. I'm here with the steamer and the, the pot. Now this is a handmade steamer from um, the instructions on Dharma Trading Company's website and I'm, I'm not getting paid by Dharma. I'm just... Um, being transparent and where I get everything. And this is just a pot. Um, it's part of a, it's just a pot that I have hanging around. So what I'm gonna do here is first show you the pot. Um, the pot is just a spaghetti pot, really. And um, I filled it with water, probably two or three inches. And again, my water source is a well, so um, there's nothing in my water. If you're dealing with city water where there's fluoride or chlorine, you may want to make some adjustments um, because I just have regular water. And I bring it to a boil um, before I um, put the steamer together. So here the water is boiling. And then here's the steamer pot. And then here is um, a piece of metal I've got that I'm going to um, put through the roll in order to suspend it over the top of this pipe so that it hangs down. And then all of this goes inside this, the boiling pot of boiling water um, for the steaming process to begin. And that's when I start my timer for how long it has to be in there. And the time you put it in there varies by different dyes, so you have to follow the instructions on the dye that you have. So I'm going to um, switch the camera angle again so that you can see what this looks like when it's all put together. So I have put the metal through the tube and I made sure that it penetrated all the entire roll and then I suspended it in the tube and there's nothing on the bottom it just hangs there. I'm going to suspend this, put this this whole entire pipe inside the boiling water and I'll show you what that looks like as soon as I get that done. So now I have a towel at the top of all of this and I have to let it sit for whatever the dyes recommend and it'll be different depending on what materials you're using. And um, once again, I got this, these, this instructions to make this steamer off of the Dharma Trading Company website. You can buy very expensive steamers. Um, they go all, all the way up into the thousands of dollars. Um, nothing against them. I've just been using this one forever and ever since college days and um, it works fine for me. I have had to replace the pipe a few times due to rusting on the edge of the pipe that sits in the bowl. Um, and this is um, just a stove pipe. Um, but this is what works for me. So I'm um, going to sign off here and thanks for watching the video. Everyone, welcome back. Um, we're going through the process of steaming some silk. And so I showed you in the last part of the video about wrapping the silk up, about encasing the silk in newsprint, and then in the thicker butcher paper. And then I showed you the process of inserting it into the steamer and steaming it over the boiling water for whatever length your dyes recommend. And then today I'm gonna kind of do the unveiling, if you will, of um, taking it out of the wrapping to see what it looks like. Now, if there are no dye leaks on the outside of this package, then I reuse the butcher paper. Um, try and reduce and reuse as much as possible. Um, for this newsprint here, you just rip it open. Remember, I used um, packing tape because masking tape can lose its stick and your piece can inadvertently fall into the water, the boiling water, which is not what you want to have happen. Okay. So here we go. Now I'm gonna unveil the silk as it's been steamed. 
Now, this piece of silk hasn't been washed yet. It's just been steam set. So you can see how bright and vibrant the colors still are. And the next process is I'm going to go and wash it um, in some warm water. And um, it'll take me about 15 minutes to wash it. Um, I keep it moving all the time. I don't let it sit in the, the vat of water. Um, I'm gonna wash it. And then at that point, I can hang it up to dry and iron it and process it for marketing on my Etsy channel um, or in my studio here. I do have people come by my studio, especially during um, festive holidays to buy gifts for their friends, um, birthdays or Mother's Day or um, any other type of holiday that we've got coming up where gifts are to be shared. Um, and um, so I'm gonna proceed from there. So I'm going to cut the camera and go take care of washing this and I will come back and show you the finished product. Here I am washing the silk in warm water, um, not hot, not cold, just warm water. And I don't keep it sitting too long. I'm leaving it sitting to take this short video, but I'll be moving it out of the soap here in a second. This is the initial rinse. And when you look, I'll move the silk aside. You can see all the extra dye that has come off, the dye that wasn't able to bond with the fabric, the excess dye and then I will be sticking it in the rinse water here and in about three rinses, it will rinse clear. So this is the third rinse and I don't know, I might rinse it one more time just to um, be safe to make sure there's nothing left. But you can see this was the water um, during the first rinse um, after steaming and this is the water after the third rinse. And I can show you that it's it's totally clear. The, um, blue on my um, countertop I think reflects into my sink sometimes and makes it look blue but if I pull this out you can see the water is totally clear. There's a little bit of soap residue so I need to rinse it another time to get that out of there but basically the process is done. I just need to let this hang dry and I'll just put that over a, a lawn chair, a plastic lawn chair and then um, it'll take about maybe 20 minutes. It's raining outside so it might take as much as a half hour to dry because there's a lot of moisture in our air right now. And so now you see I've hung the two um, bandanas out to dry. Um, I actually did two with the same design on them for the purposes of my YouTube video in case one of them got messed up. Um, the designs are very similar, but they're very different at the same time. One design is a lot more organized than the other. But this is how I lay them out to dry so they can't um, come back and touch each other. And... Um, after they've dried, which will take, again, about 15-20 minutes, I can iron them and then they're ready for marketing. Hi everyone, I'm back. Um, this is the finished scarf. This is the scarf that I um, demonstrated the steaming of and the washing of, and then I pressed it with an iron, and um, now it's ready to be marketed for sale. Um, this was a 19 mummy, which refers to the weight of the silk, silk charmeuse scarf, which means that it's a pretty thick scarf. It's shiny on one side and dull on the other. And I painted it with silk dyes. And as you can see, once it's been painted and steamed, the, um, the dyes are set. And um, we won't have any problem with the dyes coming out. So um, just wanted to thank you for joining my video today, for joining my channel. And if you like what you saw here, make sure you click the like button below. And if you want to see more videos like this, press subscribe. Again, this is Carla with Carla K Art, and I hope you have a great day. Bye now.